Hi, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer, and today I want to just discuss with you seven signs of peripheral neuropathy as well as get into some of the different kinds of neuropathy that we see in our office that we can help naturally. These seven signs of neuropathy are going to be things like numbness, burning in the feet and toes, cramping, sharp electric-like sensations or, or zaps of pain in the feet or calf, pain in your feet when you go walking, leg discomfort that keeps you up at night, perhaps restless leg syndrome, and, and lastly, a prickling or tingling-like sensation in your feet. Now, the symptoms that you're experiencing really depend on which type of nerve is damaged, inflamed, irritated, or compressed. Now, the three main types of nerves are going to be nerves that are, are what we call sensory nerves, uh, which bring sensations to different parts of your, of your body and your periphery. Uh, nerves that control muscles, okay, which are now our, our motor nerves. Okay? And then finally, nerves that carry information to organs and glands, and this is autonomic nerves. Okay? Now, if you do have damage and inflammation to sensory nerves, you're going to experience changes in uh, what your hands or your feet can actually feel. You might have lost the ability to feel things that are hot or cold. You may feel like someone is holding a match underneath your feet. Uh, perhaps your feet feel like they're on fire. And some patients even describe uh, the sensation as uh, having pins and needles or walking on pins and needles. And in the more advanced stages, uh, the inability to determine where your feet are when they touch the floor becomes a very real and serious problem. Um, if you can't feel the ground underneath your feet, you become less stable and you're at an increased risk of falling. And as we age, that increases the chances of spine and hip fractures. And I've personally seen this happen in my own family. Uh, for many neuropathies, uh, patients, loss of sensation often begins in the feet and, and the hands, and as the disease begins to progress, the loss of sensation actually moves more towards the center of the body, okay? If you're a diabetic, 60 to 70 percent of people that actually have diabetes will go on to develop this peripheral neuropathy, that, uh, peripheral neuropathy that's associated with sensory loss. The second kind of nerve that can become damaged as a result of peripheral neuropathy are the nerves that actually now control muscles, okay? And when the nerves of the muscles become damaged, what you're going to start to experience is a loss of muscle strength. Uh, you may no notice that there's a loss of muscle tone. Um, you might notice that your muscles are getting smaller. And perhaps you've even seen a, a loss or a decline in the loss of dexterity, okay? Something as simple as just buttoning your shirt, tying your shoelaces, walking up the stairs, stepping off the curb. You're missing the curb, whether you step up or step down. Uh, you might notice that you fatigue very easily. And many people who come to our office and, and who are in, the, again, the later stages or more, more advanced stages actually begin to have problems, difficulty with breathing and swallowing. The third type of neuropathy is called autonomic neuropathy. Now, when these nerves become damaged, and this is much more serious, um, we're going to start to see things like the glands and tissues of the body becoming affected. And so, specifically, we're going to see things uh, relating to the abdominal bloating. We're going to perhaps have vomiting. There'll be blurred vision, heart problems, constipation, diarrhea, um, a decreased ability to sweat, fatigue, urinary tract infections, erectile dysfunction, and many, many other kinds of symptoms. With autonomic neuropathy, we also start to look at this as, as more of like an autoimmune disorder. So in closing this video, I hope you have a better grasp on the different kinds of neuropathy. I hope you see just how serious neuropathy is and can be. And like any disease process, the earlier you catch it, the more aggressive of an approach you take, the better and the, and the, and the, the, the better chance or the better prognosis that you're going to have. If you have any questions about our approach and the, what we take and what we do in our office, I'd encourage you to download my free guide on neuropathy. To do this, simply fill out your name and email on the box that you see on the side of this website. Um, and in just a few minutes, you'll actually get uh, that, that free guide. If you have specific questions about our neuropathy program, simply fill out your, uh, a contact us form and someone from my office will get in touch with you. I do have a busy practice, and so I, you know, I try to get on the phone and talk with as many patients as I can about what we do. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, these, these consults are on a limited basis, okay, on any given month. So uh, I will do my best to personally answer any questions that you may have about our approach. And if you haven't seen any of our other videos, the last thing I would say is I would just really encourage you to watch those. Watch those different testimonials of patients who have suffered with these various kinds of neuropathy, get success, get their lives back, and feel good again. And I hope that we can do the same for you. Take care.